Look at the absolute state of this car. It is filthy. Right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. The Mondeo is really briefly coming back to the channel today. I've got a couple of small things that I want to do, a couple of small modifications, and I also just want to have a quick chat about the car because I've had a few comments on my recent Astra videos. So I just want to clear up a few things as well. As you saw, I just now put some things in a little bucket. It's on the back window at the minute. Um, but I've got a sun strip that I want to put on the car. And I'm also going to do something I should have done a long time ago, which people were telling me to do. And that is to wrap my boost gauge in black tape. That'll make more sense in a little while. If you haven't watched any of the videos previously on the Monday, that'll make more sense when I actually do it. But I think I'm gonna crack on with the Sunstrip first. Now, this is a bit of a Marmite modification, I believe. Some people like Sunstrips, some people don't like them. Um, it's just one of those things. It's more for practicality for me, although I do quite like the look of them anyway. So I'm gonna be installing one on the Mondeo. The reason for it and what they actually do is, um, it's gonna block out the sun from this area. So obviously normally, you've got a sun visor, like so, which will pop down and block the sun. Whereas a sun strip acts as a sun visor, but it will go the whole length of the window. Often the sun will shine in through where the mirror is and stuff um, and still blind you. And so I'm gonna put a sun strip on there. I'm not gonna make it huge. I'm not gonna make it massive. Um, I just kind of want it about maybe five, six inches down um, just to block out some of the sun coming in. Now that we're getting some really sunny days, I figured that now is probably the best time to do it. So I'm gonna crack one on there today. Um, I bought a gloss black one off eBay. It was like, I think about three pound, four pounds, something like that. So I'm gonna be sticking that on the car. I've got a squeegee and all the tools that I think I need to get it fitted and blade, all that sort of stuff. So without further ado, I'm gonna start getting the car prepped, ready to put the sun strip on. I'm also gonna be taking off this uh, antenna up here. There's a spider on there at the minute. I don't know if you can see that. Someone said in the comments that this is on the wrong way. I don't actually use this. As you can see, the stereo that I run is just this old Sony thing. Um, so it doesn't actually use that antenna. That's just from a previous owner. I guess they had a different stereo in here once upon a time. So I'm gonna be removing that as well. And the last thing is on this boost gauge, which I installed into this vent on this side. I don't know if you can see, but the body of it in there is gray and you can sort of see it through the vents. It doesn't look very nice. So I'm gonna stick some black tape around the body of it and hopefully that'll blend in a little bit better. It's something small and it's probably not even worth doing. But for the sake of a couple of minutes and a little bit of tape, I figured I'd do that as well. So it's just a quick shot of the car before the sun strip goes on. Obviously it'll be sitting about here. As I said, probably gonna go about mm, six inches down. I think the sun strip I bought is about eight inches wide so about here is where it's going to sit and that'll go all the way along nice gloss black should look pretty clean i've got in here all the things that i think i need i've got some tape i've got a ruler somewhere as well here i've got a ruler here as well to make sure i get it all accurate um a cutting blade some soapy water and a little squeegee as well just down in there so i think i've got everything i need to get this job done so let's crack on. I'm just gonna start off by cleaning the area using some of the Yum Cars detail spray. Just get any dirt or grit off the car. All right, there we go, it's all nice and clean. I've just pulled up the trim on the other side. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm gonna see if I can do the same to this side because that means, I don't wanna break it though. That means I'll be able to run the strip all the way to the end if I can get it out. There we go, that'll do. That means I can clean under there now and I'll run the strip right to the end of the glass and that can go under this trim then. That should look pretty clean. I'll cover up any of my dodgy cut marks as well. So I've quickly just measured down um, I've done five inches on each side, so the strip should be going on the top of the tape there. It'll sit about there, the bottom of it. I'm just gonna double check 
that that is decent enough. So from the inside, what you'll see is the sunstrip will go just along there and then it'll be lower than this, which is good. And it should go behind the mirror. Um, so there's no gaps up the top here and then it'll go across. As I said, I didn't want a massive one. I don't want it like down here. I think it looks really stupid and it really does impede your visibility if you have it too low. So I kind of want to just go about there. I think that's probably about good. I'm thinking about maybe going six inches, which would be about the bottom of this. I'm not sure. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run with the five inches first. I'm going to put this on and I'm going to see how I'd like it. And if I don't like it, I'll buy another one and I'll put it down further. But I think five inches should be absolutely fine. Now, if you're doing a sun strip yourself, if, if after watching this video, you decide you want to do one, make sure you get a second person. I haven't got a second person to help me do this, um, but it really helps to have another person, the other side, to lay down the actual sun strip itself. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do it on my own, um, but I'm going to give it my best shot. All right, so I've gone for gloss black as you can see this is a there's two different ones there's matte the satin and then there's gloss but I like the gloss black because my wheels are going to be going gloss black at some point and then I'm also going to have a gloss black splitter on the front I'm going to get a TRC splitter for the front um, so that'll be gloss black the wheels will be gloss black and then this will match in I think quite well being gloss black as well so wish me luck I'm going to um, use some soapy water this is literally just car shampoo in here um, I'm going to spray that down and then I'm going to unpeel the vinyl on the back lay it down on one side and um, spray the other side lay that down as well and um, hopefully we can squeegee out any of the bubbles i've got a squeegee in here somewhere there we go going to use that squeegee out any of the bubbles try not to scratch it as well probably going to put this rag around it because if not being gloss this will scratch it on its own so i'm probably going to have to use a microfiber around it just to stop any damage to the actual vinyl sun strip itself So I've got it about sitting about right, I think. Just gonna check inside. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You can see how far it comes down. That's about where I wanted it. Almost exactly where I wanted it, actually. Much better, I like that. Right, so I somehow managed to not record me cutting the actual um, sun strip out. Uh, for some reason, I, I did set my camera up, but didn't hit the record button because I'm an idiot. But it is all done, it is all on. I'm gonna show you, it's not the tidiest job ever. And there was a couple of little nicks in the, uh, when I was cutting around the edge, a couple of little nicks that I'm not very happy with, but it looks all right to me. I'm actually quite happy with it. And also ignore the rust on my car. The Mondeo is rusty above the windscreen, ignore that as well. So this is now how she looks, sun strip on. Um, at the biggest point, so on the edges here, it's around six inches, so about there. And but obviously along the middle, it gets smaller because the uh, windscreen's curved. As you can see, it looks pretty good, I'll be honest. This is the gloss black one. Um, I've squeegeed all the water out of it. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. If you look at it from sort of back here, it kind of looks quite clean, like it should be there. And like I said, once I get my wheels painted gloss, and once I get my front splitter, I'm gonna get a TRC splitter once I get that on there as well. It should all tie in quite nicely with that. I'm actually pretty happy. And I'll show you inside the car as well, because obviously that's quite important. In here, you can see that's how much sun it will block out. Uh, if I drop the visor down, it blocks out about as much as what a visor would. You can see the visor comes probably a centimeter lower. But it means I haven't got to constantly have that down all the time. And I'm gonna have to clean my windscreen. You can see all the marks on it, but I think that looks quite good. It actually, so having a sun strip is weird. It kind of makes the inside of your car feel darker. Um, obviously you're blocking out some light, so it makes sense, but it sort of feels different in here. It feels nice, it feels like quite comfortable. And my view is not impeded whatsoever when it comes to uh, like being able to actually see traffic and stuff. I don't even know if my windscreen wipers are gonna hit this. Should we have a little test? Let's just try the windscreen wipers and see if they actually go anywhere near just about go over it. About 
You can see how much, that much. That's fine, that shouldn't rip it up. I think that looks pretty good. I might even have a Savage Garage sticker right here, or in the middle, somewhere. Right, so next job on the list, I'm going to uh, clean the windscreen up, and I'll do that off camera, is to get rid of this, uh, I think, what's it called? It's called a DAB radio antenna. Apart from, at the minute, there's a little spider residing on there, so I need to get him off first. And then the wires sort of run down the uh, A-pillar down there, and then they go near the glove box somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where they come out, somewhere down there. But whoever installed it, installed it wrong, because this piece, I don't want to touch that spider, this piece right this piece right here um, is supposed to go on the metal of the a pillar um, you take the trim off and there's metal under there and you're supposed to put that on as like a ground or something like that uh, but the previous owner didn't do that and i don't have a dab like i explained earlier so we're going to take that off as well because that is not needed anymore come on mr spider off you go you need to get out of my car really Ugh. There you go, got him. All right, so with Mr. Spider gone, we should be able to just pull this off. It should just be stuck on there, I think. There we go. Well, the wires sound like they go all the way to the stereo. Hey, there we go. That's what we needed. I just literally just tugged them out of the back. They just were rooted up there behind the stereo. So this should come out now, shouldn't it? There we go. Goodbye, Mr. Ariel. Right, I've got right, I've got the DAB Ariel removed. I don't know if you can see up there. Where is it? Up there. Completely gone, all cleaned off, happy with that. Um, one less tatty thing to be on this car. Now, the last quick job I want to do before I have a quick chat with you about this car and sort of the plans for it and all that sort of stuff is I'm gonna add some black electrical tape, which I've got here, to my boost gauge around the body like I just told you, um, just to make it a little bit more stealth, a little bit more of a tidy install than it is currently. Um, had a load of people say it in my comments when I actually did the boost gauge install video, um, I'll link that down below, but a bunch of people were telling me to either paint the body um, or just wrap it in electrical tape and this is easier. So I'm gonna quickly do that. The boost gauge should just pull out here because I haven't like properly mounted it in there, I or have I? Have I? Oh, actually, I think I did, didn't I? That'll do. Just pop this whole thing out. All in all, there we go. Let's see the back of that. I'm gonna take this bracket off and then pop that out. Ta-da! Right, I've got it out. I'm just gonna wrap this thing in some tape now. All I had to do was take this little bracket off the back, nice and easy. You can see the color of it at the minute, it's like a light gray, and you can really see it whilst it's mounted in there. You can already see, oh that looks a lot cleaner, if you look at it from this angle. All black, yes. Liking that. Just gonna double check that it still works. Ta da! Looking good. You can see why I did that. It just looks a little bit more well installed, a little bit more camouflage. It's hard to tell on the camera, but in person it looks way better. And so after those three tiny, quick little, uh, I wouldn't even call them modifications, quick little jobs that I just wanted to do to the car that I've been sort of putting off for a little while now. Now that they're done, I just want to take a minute just to have a chat about this car. Um, I know a lot of people, probably maybe even watching this video now, a lot of people subscribed to my channel. Um, I had a massive influx in subscribers when I got this car. When the Mondeo ST was purchased, um, I had a massive influx of subscribers and I really appreciate it. After that happened, I made a few videos on this car and then they just stopped, completely stopped because I started on the Astra. Um, I don't like to do lots of things at once. I like to focus on one car. If I'm working on one car, I like to focus on that car, get it done and then move on to the next one. I don't like to be doing bits and pieces to every car because then it gets me in a bit of a muddle and I sort of lose track of what I'm actually doing. The wheels have taken up a load of time on the Astra, the five-star conversion has taken up a load of time on the Astra um, and it's just one of those things. Uh, you know, I, I have plans for this car but I wanted to get the Astra done first. It's just the way it's been. However, 
Um, I do have plans for this car still. There's so many things that I want to do. Um, it's booked in for a dyno day on the 13th of this month, so in less than two weeks' time. This is going to be going on the dyno to see how much power it's actually running. Um, I want to get a front splitter, like I said, for the front. I've, I've got a TRC one in mind that I'm going to be sticking on this car. I want to refurbish the wheels. Um, I'm going to keep them black, but I'm going to make them a really nice gloss black. Maybe even get them powder coated if I can get a decent quote. Um, I might even get them powder coated in gloss black. And there's plenty of other bits and pieces that are going to be coming on this car. I just wanted to get the Astro done first. That's literally as simple as that. This car is still being used every day. Um, I still love it to bits. Um, I love driving it. It's my favorite car I've ever owned, honestly. Um, I really, really, really enjoy this car. I just wanted to make this video just to reassure those that subscribe to this channel for the Mondeo that there is gonna be plenty of content on this car. I've got lots of mechanical jobs that I need doing on this as well. But again, I just haven't got the room in my driveway to get this in there whilst the Astra is still in there. So, so once the Astra is done and once the new car is done, I'm not going to talk any more about that on this video, but you'll see a video very soon on that. Um, once the new car is done as well, which will take about a week probably, this will be going in the driveway and I've got to service it. I want to do a completely full service. I've got the idler pulleys and the aux belt to do. I want to do an injector leak down test on the car as well, just to make sure that all the injectors um, are running all right. The car runs like a dream. Um, it doesn't really have any issues whatsoever. I'm probably going to end up doing a steering rack on this car as well, because as you guys know, I've got a knock when my steering wheel's in the center. Um, I've got a knock either way and a load of people have told me it's a steering rack. I'm pretty certain it is the steering rack now, so that's going to be a massive job to do on this car as well and um, lots of other stuff lots of plans mechanical plans and aesthetic plans for this car so don't go anywhere the Mondeo is not going anywhere um, it will be coming to the channel very soon lots of videos to come on it um, just be patient and enjoy the content in the meantime I've tried to upload as much as I can on the Astra and all that sort of other stuff so I hope you guys are enjoying the content on that in the meantime but do not fear the Mondeo is still here and it will be coming to the channel a lot more regularly very soon, trust me. And that's kind of all I want to say. I know this video wasn't very exciting, um, but I felt like a lot of the things needed to be said. Um, I wanted to just reassure people that this car is still about and there's still content gonna be coming. Um, this is kind of the focal point of the channel. This is sort of my car. This is the car I use on daily. This is my daily car, but I just had some other things that I needed to get done first. That's just the way it goes sometimes. I will try my best to be as diverse as I can with the content. Uh, maybe I will learn to flip from car to car, but I hope you guys just enjoy the content for what it is. Um, if you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for future content. Nearly at 50K now. I might have even hit 50K when this video goes live. So if I have, shout out to all you people that subscribe. 50,000 subscribers is mental. I never thought I would hit that number, so I really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling now. I, in about half an hour, I'm going to collect another car. Um, it's not for me, but I will be working on it and it's got a big job that needs doing. Uh, so look forward to that. It's something different, something I've never had on the channel before. Uh, so be excited for that. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Um, I post quite a lot on there. If you wanna get in touch with me, direct message on Instagram is probably the best way you can do it. Um, help support the channel by buying stickers, hoodies. Oh, got the hoodie on right now. That's kind of a good plug. Uh, if you wanna buy a hoodie, if you wanna buy stickers, t-shirt, whatever you want. I've also got air fresheners coming to the store very soon as well. Um, I've got my auto beam on up here at the minute. I have got my own ones coming very soon, so look out for that as well. And with that all being said, I will see you guys in the next one.